This is Widgespace News for Friday the 20th of January 2023. I'm Commander Burr. An Elite Dangerous News this week. Frontier postponed this weeks livestream and experimental AX weapon stabilizers are around the corner as Azimuth Biotech kicks off this weeks community goal. You know how this bit goes be sure to subscribe and click that little bell to be certain you see all our Elite Dangerous content and community posts here on YouTube. If you want to become a patron to directly support our work at the Burr Pit you'll find links to that and everything else below. Just a quick heads up as we start this week in case you missed the notify on social media the regular Frontier livestream was cancelled this week as the shows producer Adam tested positive for Covid a day or so before the stream. Rather than go ahead at such short notice without Adam's wizardry behind the camera the team decided to hold off for at least this week. Our very best wishes go out to Adam for a speedy recovery and return to form. While I've got your attention here's a reminder that the interim update which plans to target some of the bugs left over from the deployment of update 14 is as of this recording still scheduled to arrive before the end of January and the next major update to the game update 15 is scheduled for sometime around April with update 16 following on later in the year. We also currently still have no further information on the feature overhaul that was promised for early 2023. As soon as we know anything about that we will of course bring it to you here on this very channel. As many had anticipated a community goal went live this week in support of the weapons stabilizer technology developed by evil incorporated Azimuth Biotech. There's actually two community goals running in support of the new weaponry wonder widget. One involves hauling the goods needed to build the thing more on that in a moment. The other is from collecting bounties whilst running protection for the community goal. If you're unfamiliar with the modules intended functionality then allow me to fill in some blanks for you there. The current generation of anti xeno weapons that can be purchased from the medical evacuation and rescue ships stationed along the current Thargoid front line only allow for a maximum of 4 of the experimental weapons to be added to any given ship. Azimuth's proposed new gizmo will be available in 2 flavours class 3 and class 5. The class 3 module allows one extra experimental AX weapon to be added to a ship. The class 5 allows for two extra weapons to be added to the ship. According to Azimuth's own PR blurb this miracle of engineering achieves its goal by redistributing the inherent stresses on the ships hull generated by the experimental weapons allowing for extra weapons to be added. In order to use the new weapon stabilizers you are obviously going to need to replace a class 3 or class 5 something or other with the new module for example hull reinforcements. So it's not just a simple case of strapping more guns on and off you go a plapping. With that said a huge amount of the current AX combat happening in the game right now takes place around active starports that are more than willing to top up any hull you may have lost while defending their existence so there's clearly a balancing act to get right there. The protection CG is rewarding credits only whilst the hauling portion of the goal offers credits and various flavours of the stabiliser module itself. Should the hauling goal reach tier 1 then the class 3 stabiliser will be available for everyone to purchase at rescue megaships from the 26th of January and the class 5 will be available from the 2nd of February. If tier 2 is reached then the top 25 of participants will each receive one class 3 stabiliser on the 26th of January. If tier 3 is reached then the top 50% of participants will get the class 3 stabiliser on the 26th of January and the top 25% of participants will also get a class 5 experimental stabiliser on the 2nd of February. It's a bit convoluted but in summary if we get tier 1 done which let's be honest is going to happen 
then the class 3 and class 5 stabilizers will unlock for purchase by anyone on the 26th of January and the 2nd of February respectively. If you did well in the CG then you'll get some freebies on those dates as an extra reward. It's worth bearing in mind of course that this is an Azimuth Biotech sponsored community goal and as such there is always a shadowy figure in the background of this twirling their moustache and cackling maniacally to themselves. The hauling CG is asking for insulating membranes, HN shock mounts, beryllium and meta alloys to be delivered in huge quantities to their mega ship the Glorious Prospect currently stationed in LHS 1163. Whilst most of those components are fairly benign and generally readily available the meta alloys are largely only available by shooting up Thargoid barnacle surface sites and then harvesting the resultant bits that fall off ...an act that the Thargoids have demonstrated time and time again to be deeply profoundly irritated by. Good old Azimuth. They've got to make sure they make honey for everyone by shoving a hand grenade in a beehive and covering us all in honey and angry bees in equal measure. Two steps forward, nine steps back. Are you planning on putting stabilizers on your AX ship? What modules are you preparing to give up to use those stabilizers and how do you think the Thargoids are going to react to once again us harvesting their meta alloys? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.